Hey guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge and welcome to Bunches of Lunches. This week the kids are taking over. They're in charge of planning and making their own lunches and even dad is getting in on this. He is the biggest kid after all. All of these lunches are going to be super easy and very delicious and we can't wait to share them with you. Now before we get started, go ahead and click that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. Now let's get started. This first lunch is gonna be made by Lily. Yeah! For my lunch today, I'm gonna start by making a sandwich. And I'm gonna put it right here in my lunch box. I'm gonna use two pieces of wheat bread. I'm gonna use this whipped peanut butter. It is so good. And I'm also using some raspberry jelly. I'm gonna spread the peanut butter on this side of the bread and the jelly on the other. And I'm gonna put them both together. Next, I'm gonna take my sandwich cutter and I'm gonna press down as hard as I can. So I'm gonna put this in my lunch box. But I'm not done yet. To give my sandwich a face, I'll add two little grapes for the eyes and a little orange for his mouth. And now he looks so cute. And now it's time to add more fruit. One of my favorite things is mango fruit cups. But they can be a little hard to open. So my mom will help me open it, we'll drain it, and then we can put it in the lunchbox. Next, I'm gonna add another one of my favorite things. That is pickles. Not everyone in my family likes pickles, but I do. And I would eat them every day if I could. So I'm gonna add just a few pickles in there. In this little section, I'm gonna add more grapes. I'll use a couple of picks to decorate my lunch. These are little crayon picks, they're really cute. For a snack today, I choose Pringles. And my favorite flavor is the pizza ones. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite Pringle flavor is. So now I'm going to open this up. It's a little bit tricky, but I got it. And I'll put just a few chips in a separate container. That way they don't get crushed. And then the last thing I'm going to add is my special drink. I love chocolate milk. And that's it. That's everything in my lunch. Next step, we have Jackson's lunch. Are you ready? Yeah. For my lunch, I want to make one of my favorite sandwiches. My favorite kind of bread is croissant bread. So my mom helped me cut it in half, and now I can seal it. I'll add a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of cheese, and a little bit of ham. I absolutely do not want mustard on my sandwich. One of my favorite fruit is cherries. So I'm gonna add a handful of them and pluck out the cherry tops. Cause I don't like the cherry stems in my lunchbox. Next, I'm going to add some corn, after I peel it, of course. I like to eat it raw, I don't like to cook it at all. In this little section, I'm gonna add a few tomatoes. Then for my special treat today, I'm gonna add some Cheerio Bites. These are so good, and they really do taste like little Cheerio Bites. So I'm just gonna put a couple in a separate container. Then for my drink, I'm gonna add some chocolate milk. And that's everything in my lunch today. Bye. Bye. Next up, we have Mackenzie making her lunch. Hi guys. So for my lunch today, I'm going to be making a hot lunch. One of my favorite foods is orange chicken. And normally we like to get our orange chicken from Trader Joe's, but we didn't have time to get to Trader Joe's this week. So we're gonna try out this kind of orange chicken, which is actually great for me because I can just microwave it. I don't have to use the stove at all. This container has rice, lots of veggies, the chicken and the sauce all together. All I have to do is open it up and remove the seal. So while my chicken is in the microwave, I'm gonna go ahead and add a handful of carrots. Normally I would pick cucumbers, but we're out. I just put them in and they just went like that. And to go along with the carrots, I'm gonna include a little container of ranch. And for the fruit, I'm gonna make a delicious fruit salad. We only have a couple strawberries left. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and peel and separate the oranges. 
and I'm gonna add them into the fruit salad, which also has cantaloupe and honeydew melon. Bananas would have been really good in this. I think I'm gonna add those next time. I'm gonna fit as much as fruit salad in here as I can. And to make it look cute, I'm gonna put a little lion pick inside. For snack time today, I'm going to put a handful of these banana chips. These are a little sweet and very crunchy. Let me know in the comments down below if you like banana chips too. So now my orange chicken is done and I've scooped it into the thermos part and it's smelling really good. Now I'll get the lid on so it can stay nice and hot. Next, I'm gonna add some goldfish graham cracker s'mores flavored into this little plastic snack ball. And last but not least, I'm gonna add a little jasmine head good to grow drink. We recently got to see the new Aladdin movie and it was really good. Next up is Daddy's turn. Hi guys, for my lunch, I'm gonna be using the Ziploc container and I'm gonna start with my main dish. I'm gonna be making a salad and I'm just using some romaine lettuce. Next, I'm gonna use some grilled chicken skewers from Costco. I'm just gonna push them off the skewers onto the salad. I'm going to top them with some salsa verde. It's very good, a mild heat, not too spicy. I'm just gonna put a couple spoonfuls on top of the chicken and then I'm gonna put a dollop of daisy. After that, I'll sprinkle with some shredded cheddar cheese and then top it with some sliced tomatoes. Finally, I'm going to add some salt and pepper to taste. Next up, I'm gonna be making my spin on a caprese salad. I'm gonna use about a cup of sliced cherry tomatoes, a quarter cup of sliced onion, one mozzarella cheese stick cut into pieces, a splash of balsamic vinegar, a large spoonful of basil pesto. This is the easy way. It's got the garlic and the basil and the olive oil already in it. Then I'm gonna top it with a little bit of salt and pepper, put the lid on the container and shake it up. Now I usually like to let this marinate on the counter for a few hours before eating. That way the flavors all combine and it's very delicious. I'm just gonna add a little bit here into this compartment and top it with a little bit of the extra sauce. And then I'm gonna add some sliced avocado. I've added a little salt and pepper to these. Next up is our fruit. I found these at the grocery store. They're called rambutan from South Asia, I believe. They're kind of an interesting looking little guy. I've never had them before. I looked up a video on how to eat them and you need to cut around the skin, it's a little bit thick, and then it pulls off, revealing the fruit inside. It's kind of grape-like, uh, it's a white flesh and juicy, but there is a, an almond size seed in the middle of it. So I'm just gonna add them to this split container. And then, while I was getting these at the store, I also found a persimmon, and I love persimmons. So I'm just gonna put that in there and then dice it up. And finally, a little crunchy snack. These are plant-based protein crisps. They have seven grams of protein. They're baked, non-GMO, gluten-free, have zero trans fat, and they're flavored like margarita pizza. So I'm gonna give one a try because I've never had these before, and uh, they're, they're pretty good. They're nice and crunchy. I'm just gonna add a small handful into this little container. And finally, to drink, I'm having some kombucha. This is GT's kombucha in the gingerade flavor, which is my favorite. And there is my lunch. And as you can see, I ate it all. I'll make it again, because it was super delicious. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.